Hello, hello, Madame Wario reporting for duty. And we are in space! Wait. We are on a broken star. Wired together in a very interesting fashion. Yes, that's right, it's the last board of Mario Party. It's Eternal Star. Oh, and Bowser's gonna tell Koopa to get lost and tell us how to play the game that we already know how to play. Hey look, it's Toad! I always knew Toad was a tranny. Wait, that's not Toad. Oh, that's Baby Bowser! Yeah, his name later changes to Koopa Kid. Why? I don't know. Hey look, I'm not going second this time. I'm going last. And without further ado, we are starting Eternal Star. Alrighty. On this board, there are multiple star spaces. Um, Toad is not on this board. It's all just Baby Bowser, aka Koopa Kid. And when you reach a star space, it's kind of a gamble. You have to pay 20 coins to play a little dice game against Baby Bowser, which Mario's gonna show us. Well, he doesn't have enough coins, or else he would show us. But, um,. If you don't get a higher, if you don't roll a higher number than Baby Bowser, you will not get the star, and you will just have wasted 20 coins. So, you definitely want to roll a higher number, which, in some cases, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like it's rigged, because the majority of players beat Baby Bowser at the roll, because Baby Bowser will roll like a 4. <clears throat> and you'll get a 10, so, you know, but we'll see how that goes later. I'm gonna go this way, just because everyone else has gone the other way. And, um, yeah, those little, oh, I don't know, passageways, I guess you can call them, teleportation things. They take you to different parts of the broken star, and on each part are maybe one or several baby Bowsers just waiting for you to play against them and get a star. So, kind of random. Why am I not picking this up? Hello. Get out of my way. You're stupid. Okay, that was dumb. Um, but yeah, so there are multiple star spaces on this board, and I think after everybody gets to to all of the star spaces, they just reset, and you can go for all of them again. Happening spaces on this board send you back to start, sends everyone back to start, actually. And if you get Bowser on this board, this is probably the worst board to get Bowser on, worse than um, Bowser's Magma Mountain actually, because I don't remember what he does if he takes just one star or if he takes all your stars, but I know it's it's not good. Whatever he does is definitely not good. This is another board I don't play very much. I really like the character boards better than this one, except for Wario's Battle Canyon, because, well, that board is just terrible and does not treat me very well. So, yeah. But hey, I'll play Mario's Rainbow Castle and Yoshi and Peach's board any day. I like those boards. Well, Luigi's board is really good, too. That half of the boards are probably my favorite. Definitely my favorite, actually. And Luigi gets the first Bowser space. And we're going to have a Bowser's Revolution, which means everybody's coins are divided equally. Okay, so I only lost one coin. Which means I don't have enough for a star, so that is kind of annoying. 
Well, I'm going to send everybody back to star and get in first for the happening star. So, I didn't talk about this on the last board, but to unlock, um, well, first of all, to unlock Bowser's Magma Mountain, I'm pretty sure you just have to play every single character board once. Um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think that's how it goes. And then, to unlock this board, you have to have earned 100 stars from playing individual Mario Party boards. So it can take a while, but you know, this game is easy to get obsessed with, as I am proof of. Didn't take me very long, but there's also a way to cheat if you, you know, say you don't play with many human players, which I usually didn't play with that many. I would play with my sisters, but the majority of the time it was just me and a bunch of computer players as far as this game goes, Mario Party 1, but so yeah, if you it, whatever stars you get, it will only count the stars from boards that human players get. It won't count the computer player stars in your bank, which is where they're kept track of. So Say you only play with yourself all the time and you only get like two stars every board, well that's gonna take you 50 boards to get to, or to unlock Eternal Star. So you can actually rig the controls to where, I know that you can take one of your control, your main controller out, I think you actually need two controllers to do this, you take one of them out, plug it into another controller space and you just set all the computer players to human players at the very end of the game, the last turn. So you get all their stars. I know, it's kind of a cheating way. I think I only used that a couple times near the end when I was just getting anxious and eager to get or unlock this board. So yeah, you can do that, and if you have four controllers, obviously, you can just plug all of them in and set all the computer players to human players. You know, that works too, but... That's how you can do that, and how you can cheat in that way. Alright, show us how it's done, Luigi. I know, Peach is back on this board. Hey, you know how the last board was all the misfits? Well, this board is all the bros, including me. Um, which, I'm like, what am I, the evil twin of Mario? I'm somewhere along those lines. And then, the chick. Who I don't like, but... I guess it's kind of a good thing she's on this board, because that means she came in fourth on the last board. And this is the first Rotate the Control Stick minigame of this board. Will I win? Yes, I will. Not a hard minigame to win if you're a human player. Does everyone have seven at the end of their coin amount? Yes, we do. That's very strange. Shy Guy says, I've screwed this up two times in a row. Alright, I better do something good this time. Alright, I'm going to concentrate this time. I know I said that last time and it failed. But I promise I'm concentrating right now. Oh, come on. Thank you. Oh crap, I almost pressed A. Thank god I did not though, and... I won! How intense was that? It was pretty intense. And I am now tied for second with Luigi.